Leading us into Holy Week is one of my favorite times of worship, Palm Sunday. On Palm Sunday, we remember Jesus' final entry into Jerusalem, headed to accomplish a mighty victory. I love a good triumph as well as an intriguing paradox. And in this occasion for worship and celebration, we have both. Old and New Testaments echo one another in this story to reveal Christ's kingship. The people in Jesus' day recognized their king as prophesied in the Old Testament, righteous with salvation, humble, and mounted on a donkey. In the first four books of the New Testament, we read of this prophecy's fulfillment. Multitude of peoples honored their new king, some placing cloaks and branches of trees on the path, and others waving palms in the air. Why palms? In the Mediterranean culture, palms are plentiful and thought to symbolize both goodness and victory. What victory would this triumphant king bring? The crowds hailed what they thought would be their insurrectionist king, a leader who would restore their nation Israel to its former glory, one that would topple Rome and set them free. The beautiful paradox. Jesus knows truth. The cloak-lined road would lead him to a very different kingship, one that would be much more costly, costing him his life. He would surely be victorious and truly set the people free, but from a far greater power than Rome. So what do we see on this side of the cross at Palm Sunday? With cross eyes, we see a different sort of king, one who is ushering in a new kingdom, a kingdom of God. They followed him into Jerusalem to hail him King of the Jews. Let's follow him to the cross to honor him as King of our lives. We hope you will join the crowds that will gather here at Trinity on Palm Sunday. It will be one large gathering at 1030. So whether you picture yourself online with us or whether you join us in person, we invite you to pick up your palm and with cross eyes, Follow him.